driver lucky to be alive today after a train hits his truck. Authorities say the driver's truck split in half. Stephanie Sanastasi joins us now from the scene and tells us how long this cleanup will take. Stephanie. Kevin and Latricia, the accident happened just after nine this morning near Wahatchee Pike and Cummings Road in Lookout Valley. Now, as you can see, the road here is still blocked and it looks like it's going to stay that way until tomorrow. This truck totaled and split in two after the driver collided with a Norfolk Southern train. Officials won't say who's at fault. The cab of the truck where the driver sat ripped off and thrown nearly 50 yards. It's barely visible behind this tall grass. Some of the uh, the railroad track was literally just peeled away uh, from where it normally is. The truck driver was extremely lucky uh, not to have been uh, seriously injured or killed. The train's engineer and conductor also injured. But a spokesperson for the Chattanooga Fire Department tells us all three will be okay. There was a fair amount of uh, violence involved here in which they're actually upright, upended in some cases. Uh, so we're actually just uh, very pleased to tell you that we're relieved that there weren't any more serious injuries than, than what we have. The truck driver works for Clean Harbor's Environmental Services. We still don't know his name, but officials tell us he was pinned inside the cab, forcing firefighters to cut him out with rescue equipment. Equipment. Clean Harbor's Director of Operations, Eric Montgomery, offered only a brief statement about their driver. Great guy. I um, understand he's doing well, and that's all I can say at this time. He says their drivers usually haul hazardous waste for transportation and disposal. Officials say several thousand gallons of diesel fuel spilled onto the ground from ruptured fuel tanks on the train. We don't have any details on chemicals other than that they've already ruled out that there's anything uh, that's particularly hazardous or threatening to the public. The Chattanooga Police Department is the lead on this investigation. Fire officials say Norfolk Southern workers will be bringing in extra crew members and equipment to help remove these derailed cars. Again, officials don't anticipate this road being opened again until tomorrow. For now, reporting live in Chattanooga, Stephanie Sanastasi, News Channel 9. Stephanie, thank you. Fire officials say two other local companies will be assisting Norfolk Southern with the cleanup of the diesel and other materials.